What's going on in Victoria at the moment is absolutely heartbreaking. Now, it's all well and good for journalists to ask questions for 90 minutes and good on them for doing so. But we actually have people we elect as citizens of Victoria to ask questions on our behalf in a thing called the Parliament. Yeah. And the Parliament should be considered an essential service. Our democratic institutions are being overthrown uh, without any sort of debate. We've got a, uh, a, a government that has uh, conferred powers to a very small amount of people and offered very little transparency to do so. We elect members of Parliament to hold the government to account and that has been scrapped. Could you imagine, Paul, if a uh, Liberal Premier enacted stage four uh, restrictions, locked people in their homes, locked people in commission houses mm -hmm. and gave them uh, uh, gave themselves a pay rise for the privilege, there would be absolute outrage and th there seem to be absolute double standards. The government needs to take account. They need to stop calling this inquiry a judicial review because it absolutely isn't. They could have established a Royal Commission with limited terms of reference like they did for the Lawyer X Royal Commission, but they didn't. They established a quasi-inquiry where they could try to deflect blame. They can't anymore, so questions need to be answered. Can I just point out and congratulate Michael Sucker and Jane Hume for today applying the pressure and making the obvious point uh, that Daniel Andrews was responsible for the biggest public policy failure in Australian history. Hmm. It's time for the federal government to stop treating the Victorian government with kid gloves, gloves, because Jane Hume and Michael Zucker speak for every single Victorian when they're sending that message.